was wondering if anybody is here today to discuss exactly how it is that you guys have receivership against Mr. Paul, uh, despite the fact that there's been no finding of standing to foreclose. Can I take a look at the court file? Sure. Okay, thanks. Mortgage uh, foreclosure fraud. I was a title insurance producer. I was an assistant attorney general in another state, so I follow this this kind of thing. And I, this guy, you know, he's in receivership with no finding that he that people have standing to sue him in the first place for foreclosure right. twice. I, I, no, so, we won't receive notice today. Right. Because it'll probably get set on a briefing schedule. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, has the AG put in a notice of appearance? Um. No problem. I was curious, are you Judge Holmes? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, Chris King, Mortgage Movies, how are you? Hi. Good, good, good. good. Um, this had a question regarding standing. I, I came to cover a case that had been slated regarding you at 1.30 today. It was continued. And uh, the case involved issues of standing. I don't know what. Uh, and uh, it was a, it's a foreclosure case. Uh -huh. Receivership <laughs> against his property <laughs> without showing a foreclosure. I can't comment on any. What is, what is I don't know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Obviously, you're not the city. I don't, I'm, I'm still learning what the whole posture of the case is. Uh -huh. I understand. I think you have the, at this point been named a defendant. And I just saw a pleading from the AG's office that came in representing you. So I'm still trying to get caught up myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but you're no longer the sitting judge on the case. I can't comment on it. On that either. Case. Okay, thank you. When did the judge retire then? Month? Well, I mean, I got the order, I got the, the letter from on the 7th of December. Okay. Okay. Already? Okay, we'll see you there then. Not a problem. Okay, all right, bye. That was a court reporter. She didn't know when he retired either, but it must have been just in the last couple of weeks, whatever he retired. Judge. Oh, um, Judge Fiedler retired. That's Crazy. Here rumbling. Someone's coming out now. Ah, clerk of courts. I'm Bailiff? clerk in branch eight. Yeah. Gotcha. So you guys here for the 1:30? Correct. It's it's been taken off the calendar. Um, and I called everyone Friday that I had a number for because that's when the judge took it off because Judge Colas is represented now by Counsel. the AG, so we have to give him time to respond. Uh, I I was reading the file. I didn't know what did, Mr. When did you file this, sir? Um, you mean what kind of... What when did you file the counterclaim? The counterclaim was filed in December 2nd or 3rd. Okay, so now it is now January 9th. 9th. But he hasn't responded yet? No, he has not responded. Jack what is the statutory right time in Wisconsin for 30. a time there? No, 20 days. 20 days you're supposed to respond. Hmm. Have you filed a motion for a default? Not yet. Interesting. I'll do that today. Okay. Uh, when, will he receive notice now then of when the next... Hearing is, I've come from out of state to cover this. Uh, I cover mortgage movies, mortgage uh, foreclosure fraud. I was a title insurance producer. I was an assistant attorney general in another state, so I follow this this kind of thing. And I, this guy, you know, he's in receivership with no finding that he that people have standing to sue him in the first place for foreclosure right. twice. I, I, no, so, I won't receive notice today. Right. Because it'll probably get set on a briefing schedule. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, has the AG put in a notice of appearance? Um. I don't know if he technically has, but right. I called the office to see if he was represented. Right. And he, he, is. he is. Can I take a look at the court file? Sure. Okay, thanks. Well, Mr. Paul, I understand they just told us that, that they couldn't contact you about this continued hearing today? Yeah, that's what they said. They couldn't get a hold of me. But your number's in all the pleadings and all the paperwork in the file. My telephone number is 
with the eviction paperwork or anything else here. They have my telephone number on file. It's on every eviction paperwork, my telephone number. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How you Excellent. Wow, it's my pleading. How about that? You never know what you want. <laughs> anyway, we're at KingCast.net, Mortgage Movies. And, uh, yeah, we're here at Anchor Bank looking at my pleading. Fascinating. My notice of media coverage. I was wondering if anybody is here today to discuss exactly how it is that you guys have receivership against Mr. Paul, uh, despite the fact that there's been no finding of standing to foreclose. Mr. Paul is well aware that we have counsel. Oh, so, we went upstairs, but they didn't want to answer our call. Yeah, so that's, we're only going to speak through one voice. Okay, and that counsel, for the record, then, is? Jeff Lansman. Lansman. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well, then. Well, I noticed that you did, though. I did see some filings where I think Anchor tried to intercede with respect to a hearing that was scheduled for today with Judge Collis. So I you know, didn't know if that was through Judge, through, uh, rather, Attorney Lansman or through someone else. And I have to document. talk to Attorney Lansman. Okay. Very well, sir. And, oh, Chris King is my name. Hey, Chris. And yours? Mark. Mark. Timmerman. Timmerman, nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I was a title insurance producer for a while, and I was an assistant state attorney, so now I document issues of uh, perceived uh, foreclosure abuse. And uh, thank you for your time. Yep. Have a good day. As well.